Welcome guys to Nvidia's GeForce Gaming Celebration where we just witnessed Jensen, co-founder and CEO of Nvidia reveal the brand new architecture, Turing and the newly christened GeForce RTX lineup of GPUs. 10 years in the making. Graphics reinvented is what the new series is about. Bringing ray tracing, a, a process, an intensive process to give you physically real light to make your games pop to make them feel more real to improve every shadow every reflection that you see in game all of that possible only by the new rtx gpus from nvidia now you're probably thinking all right it's a new gpu how good could it be well it is in fact almost six times more powerful and efficient than the previous flagship the gtx 1080 ti what i'm talking about of course is the new RTX 2080 Ti and what's exciting is it's not just one GPU in the architecture that we've seen it's three whole new cards that are all available for pre-order now the RTX 2070 the RTX 2080 and the RTX 2080 Ti all available for pre-order now starting at believe it or not $499 for the 2070 $699 for the 2080 and 999 for the 2080 Ti. Now these are partner cards, a little more and you can get the Founders Edition cards with the newly revamped design for the cooling. While the previous Founders Edition cards, one that I use myself as well, are amazing. The cooling is something what put most people off with the blower fan design. Seems Nvidia has taken that to heart and we've got a dual fan design for the first time, which means all the partners are going to be stepping it up with even faster, even cooler cards. And what's interesting about this, even though it's a new fan design with two fans, it's actually much, much quieter than the 1080 Ti under load. And that's amazing because you're adding more fans, you're adding better cooling, but it's also quieter at the same time. So all of this packed into the brand new GeForce RTX GPUs that Nvidia has launched now and these are surely going to take gaming to the next revolution. They're being talked about as the next coming of gaming graphics and this is what we gamers have been waiting for. And it's not just about looking at the cards at this event. Nvidia's actually been working with top developers for a long time to integrate RTX technologies into their games, the new lighting. RTX also has AI built into the GPU to improve performance. And all of this is incorporated in some of the latest games we've been hearing out for quite a while. The games we have on display here, so many. Let's actually take you around the booth on what is to play. Now, one of the biggest partner titles for Nvidia this year has to be Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We've got the massive booth over here with this crazy mod built to showcase Shadow of the Tomb Raider. A custom GeForce RTX 2080 Ti PC built by Ron Lee Christensen. It looks amazing, feels like it's right out of the game and is featuring a brand new RTX 2080 Ti. What a mind-blowing PC. And it's not just that. Behind, people are playing the all-new Shadow of the Tomb Raider running on RTX 2080 Ti's with the new lighting features enabled. And my God, does it look amazing. But that's not all. Another hugely popular title, Hitman 2, is also playable here. We've got gamers playing on, again, RTX 2080 Ti systems jumping into Agent 47's shoes for his next adventure. Now, we're not quite allowed to show you all of these games just yet, so you're just gonna have to make do with some of the awesome footage we have here for you. Then behind the Hitman booth, we've got Metro Exodus. Now, the third game in the franchise, it's got everybody talking, so many people excited about it. And this is actually one of the most interesting booths here because it's got a feature where you can actually toggle the RTX lighting on and off and see the difference for yourselves. Now, once again, it's not something that you're going to get to see right now. We can only talk about it, but the lighting, that's what RTX is all about. You can either sort of fake your way with global illumination, putting some fake lights, 
and evenly lighting up everything in an environment or you can actually have light bounce off objects, light reflect to give you that realistic, that photorealistic impression inside a game and that's what RTX brings and that's something what Metro Exodus is showing us. Then of course we've got Battlefield 5 more from that we've got the open beta coming up battlefield 5 is going to be one of the games that's going to be featuring rtx heavily and we're going to see that later this month when the open beta hits and of course we're going to see more of some new maps we're going to see the battle royale game mode now let's turn our attention to another awesome mod over here it's called the touring specter built by peter brands it's got not one but two RTX 2080 Ti GPUs and it is a fully liquid cooled system. It is mind-blowingly good to look at and just imagine the power. In fact, the RTX 2080 Ti can do what supercomputers from the previous generation could not. It can do it faster, it can do it better. Just think of that, all that power packed into one gaming GPU just for you. This is only the beginning of our Gamescom coverage, guys. The NVIDIA GeForce Gaming Celebration has kicked off Gamescom in style with not one, not two, but three new GPUs. The RTX 2070, 2080, and 2080 Ti. Pre-orders are open and they're going to be available on September 20th. So mark your calendars. Gaming graphics redefined is here.